All right. You've probably noticed at this point, if you follow the channel at all, that my uploads have been a little bit all over the place for the past six months. And I actually had an idea to do a video on this topic um, a while ago, probably about two years ago. The, the original idea of the video was why I don't care about soda results. And I ended up coming across it earlier this week and deciding to do a video that is essentially on why I don't care about the next language model. And hear me out. So when I got interested in machine learning, I got interested in it as a tool. I got interested in it as something that I could use to pursue goals and interests that I already had and to, to solve problems that I was interested in solving. I originally came across it as a way to help MRI systems reconstruct data more accurately. I went into grad school thinking that it would be a great way to help people be more informed about their health, get better health results, and, and improve the healthcare system overall. And I still think that there's a lot of potential for that. And in making this channel and starting to make videos about it, I, I came into this very much thinking about the ways that machine learning or AI could be used to improve our lives, to, to make our lives better, and using this channel as a way to demo that for all of you. And I think at some point along the way, I lost track of that. It was actually probably before, before I started making money from the channel, before um, views and analytics and anything like that mattered to me at all. But at some point I, I started reading through the comments, which I love, I do love the comments, and getting feedback and taking requests for tutorials on different machine learning methods and explainers of papers as the direction that I should be going in versus feedback from people who are enjoying my content and and have other things they would like to see. And I think the the explosion of language models was almost what kind of forced me to take a step back in the sense that I, I'm not interested in <laughs> making a bunch of videos on the newest version of ChatGPT and GPT-3 and Bing AI and diving deep into the technical side of that. And part of that is because I dive into this technical side of things for my day job. And so I'm, my brain, my analytical brain is often a bit exhausted by the time that I get to the point of making a video. But also because I, I didn't get into machine learning for the theory and for the papers and for the 0.002% improvements over other models. I never got into it for state-of-the-art improvements. I was interested in it because I had a North Star. I was interested in helping people. And I think I ended up moving a little bit away from that in this channel because I thought that that was what all of you wanted. My goal for this year is to move back towards something that is closer to what I want. So that doesn't mean I won't be doing paper reviews anymore. I probably still will do some for papers that I find really interesting, but it does mean that when I do paper reviews, I'm going to try to get interviews with the people behind the papers. It, it means that I, I'm, I'm very interested in a kind of human first portrayal and investigation of AI systems. I'm interested in the people who develop the models. I'm interested in the people who are affected by the models. I'm interested in, actually this is a video that's probably going to come up soon, I'm interested in whether or not AI can design a better wig as someone who has never worn a wig in her life. My hair has always been natural. I don't have any experience with that, so it'll be a fun deep dive into both black hair and also AI wigs. I'm, I'm really interested in how to be a person in a world of AI. And so that I think is going to be the future direction of this channel. If you were here for tutorials, there are so many other amazing channels that I would highly recommend you check out. And I hope you enjoy them. And I hope you learned something from them, but you're not gonna find that content here anymore. If you are still interested in paper deep dives, I still will be doing some of those on this channel. A little bit less of that 
probably just because I've, I, I think I've put this graph on the channel before, but like the exponential growth of AI papers has made sorting through them so much harder. And so it, it has become more and more challenging to actually figure out what papers are interesting and useful and, and what I want to platform at the end of the day, what things I want to put on my channel when a million and a half papers going up on archive every day. And if you want to see more AI demos, that's actually definitely something I want to get back to. I think I lost track of that over the last few years. I I miss being very hands-on with building things and developing new systems and trying them out, whether that be AlphaGo on a Raspberry Pi or whether that is a, a video concept that I've had for a while is doing machine learning only on my iPhone <laughs> for a week. The AI recipes videos are something that I absolutely love. I love making those videos. I have so much fun with them. Reacting to AI things are something that I also really enjoy. So this is all to say, there will still be explainers on the channel. There will still be, I will still be explaining how AI works and how new developments and new AI systems work. But if you're here because you've been interested in getting a CS education, a, a practical CS education, I don't think that's the direction I'm planning on going in anymore. But if you are here because you're just interested in learning how to be a person in a world that is increasingly enveloped and affected by AI systems, then that's what this channel is for. I hope that some of you will continue to follow me for that. And I also hope that if that doesn't serve you, then you find content that does. If you want to see the more day-to-day -day level discussions of these types of things and also other things related to like grad life and neurodivergence and mental health, the vlog channel is where you can go for that. But I am excited <laughs> for this new chapter of the channel with all of you and I I hope you like it. <laughs> and as you can tell, this is something that I've been thinking about for a while. And I think it's something that I wouldn't be able to do without having the support of a platform like Nebula, which is kindly sponsoring today's video. I'm, I'm an owner in Nebula. I'm an owner in Standard. I'm an owner in my own agency. I, I really believe in this platform and what it can do for creators. And I also have found it to be an amazing place to just try out new content. When I tried out having a journal club and realized that that wasn't necessarily for me. When I tried out certain kinds of bonus footage and realized that that wasn't necessarily for me. It's been an amazing place to know that I can try things and be supported and, and still be able to make a living off of this while I find my new groove. But if that doesn't do it for you, and that's totally fair, I do have other reasons why you should sign up for Nebula. I've been meaning to do a video for a while on the AI vibrator that I have, and I have been very nervous about it. So I would love it if you guys psyched me up about it. Uh, and that would be something that would only be released on Nebula. You can also check out our Nebula Originals. I've been in a bunch of them, including a very good trivia show by Sam from Wendover, where I answered very fast math questions. I don't know if I'd been diagnosed with ADHD at this point, but um, if I hadn't, I feel like this would be a good test. I'd highly recommend checking out Nebula because it is the best way to support me directly. And if there are things you'd love to see on Nebula, please let me know in the comments or tag me on Twitter or Instagram because I would love to know what you would like to see over there. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Nebula.